So how do you take advantage of mispricing in the crypto market using triangular arbitrage? And that's what I wanna take you through here in detail. So the first thing I've done just before starting this video is I've run this high level tool over here that just tells me at a high level where likely will there be arbitrage opportunities. And then I've gone to the top and I've selected across the two exchanges that really appealed to me, Binance and Bittrex. I've selected those and told the tool to just go and scan those exchanges here now so that I can walk you through triangular arbitrage in real time. So what I've done is I've gone and scanned those exchanges and the tool has gone across every single coin and said, is there any combination of buying and selling coin here, forward or backwards, is there any combination of buying or selling coins here that will work, that will give me a percentage gain on my capital so that I don't have to speculate on price, but I can't take credit because it was actually one of the YouTube subscribers, Mark, who's also a subscriber here to Crypto Wizards, who suggested the enhancements to this tool and I'm really excited by them. So special thanks to Mark for doing that. What I wanna do very quickly before I get into the details of what is triangular arbitrage and do what I'm gonna call the mother of all triangular arbitrage videos for crypto. Before I get into that, the first thing I wanna do is just tell you what I've got open. So I can see that there's a bunch of arbitrage opportunities here really involving this Dent coin on Bittrex and on Binance with US dollar Tether. So what I've done is I've opened up these exchanges and I've got the prices up here uh, on all of the exchanges for those three pairs of coins. So I've looked at USDT to BTC, I've looked at BTC to Dent, and I've looked at Dent to USDT on all of these exchanges and just opened them up. Now, normally what you would do is if you were trading these opportunities, if you had funds on these exchanges, what you would be doing is actually putting in an amount that you wanna trade on each of these windows. So you would actually be going into the order book, entering the amount you wanna buy or sell, I'm gonna show you exactly what that means in a minute and making sure that the coin you're ending up with is more than what you started with. So before you go and actually place those trades, you wanna go onto the exchange and make sure, number one, make sure it's the same coin you're trading, but you wanna make sure that there is a net gain still because prices do move. So that's something that you wanna go and do. But just for tutorial purposes right now, I actually took a screenshot of the prices when I ran this tool because I knew by the time I started recording and talking on a video, these prices are moving. And so that wouldn't have given much time for you to actually see static prices. So I actually went to the Excel tool here and put the bids and ask prices in to show you what triangular arbitrage is and how to calculate it. I know a lot of you who have followed the Crypto Wizards YouTube channel I've already seen that series in detail, but I'm still getting a lot of email requests, a lot of people very interested in triangular arbitrage, and there's not a lot of great material out there to cover that, which is why I wanna cover it right now, right here. So before we get into how to actually trade this, let's just very quickly talk about what is triangular arbitrage and what are some of the risks as well? We'll get into that in this video. So the first thing to take note of is what is triangular arbitrage? Well, if we have say three stores, store A, store B, and store C. And at store A, you can exchange say $1 for Coca-Cola, let's keep it simple. And in exchange B, you can exchange Coca-Cola for Pepsi Max, one Coca-Cola for one Pepsi Max. And at shop C or exchange C, whatever you wanna call it, we can exchange Pepsi Max for $2. So, this all of a sudden looks really appealing to, for anyone who has the view of all three stores, and sometimes it can happen just between one store, one store's trading opportunities can be enough. We'll get into that in a minute. But anyone who has this view, they can see the mispricing. I can see here that I can turn $1 into $2 and make a $1 profit, or in this case, a 100% gain on my initial capital. So this is essentially what triangular arbitrage is. It's a triangle. We are buying at exchange A, selling at exchange B, and buying back at exchange C for a profit. And so we're not speculating on price, rather our job is execution. How fast can I take advantage of this opportunity so that no one else takes advantage of it and I can get that percentage gain on my capital. Now, one of the things I wanna point out off the bat is 2.53% this is the percentage that the tool then went to try and trade with $100 worth of crypto. So pretend traded it. 
to make sure there was enough order book depth. So whenever I'm looking at this, I'm looking at the real ARB rate over here against the surface rate. Now, ironically here, the real ARB rate is actually higher. That's gonna be because of timing in the algorithm running and prices moving. So this is an active market. We're using very reputable exchanges. Prices are moving all the time. So for anyone who can see those changes in prices and actually pretend trade it, this saves me a lot of time because it makes sure that there's no rubbish arbitrage opportunities that aren't worth my time because there's not enough depth. So how do we actually go about thinking about whether or not an opportunity is profitable or not? Well, the first thing you need to know is this is a forward calculated arbitrage opportunity, meaning that if I have US dollar tether, I need to sell that for Bitcoin. Then on Bittrex, I need to take Bitcoin and exchange it for Dent. So I need to sell my Bitcoin and buy Dent. And then on exchange three, I need to sell my Dent and buy US dollar tether. That's what I need to do. So I should start with US dollar tether and I should end with US dollar tether. Now this is a forward calculation. Now the good news is I have taken a screenshot or a snapshot of the latest prices on bids and asks of these coins when I ran the model and I just punched them here in Excel. Now for those of you, I know a lot of you loved the previous videos on this tool and you wanted to know, hey, where can I get the tool? You can get that here from Crypto Wizards. It is here. It's the triangular arbitrage calculator over here. So you can download that tool, but you don't even need to do that because when I show you how to calculate this in this video, you'll be able to develop at least this high level portion yourself. So when I put the prices in between Bitcoin and US dollar, dollar tether on Bittrex and Dent and Bitcoin on Bittrex, and then this one was on Binance, these are the asks and the bids. And so if we're doing a forward calculation, that means I'm starting with the base coin. You'll notice that on the right, I always have the base coin and then the quote is always on the left. So think of it like the weaker currency or the weaker coin is always kind of on the left. So US dollar tether is what I would start with in a forward calculation. Meaning that if I have US dollar tether, then I want what's on the left of this pair. So I put a neat little rule here for you that whatever coin you want, this is how you perform the calculation. So I'm gonna delete the actual calculation here and do it for you right now. So if I say, okay, I want the coin that's on the left, then I take one divided by the ask. So that will give me Bitcoin. And then once I've got Bitcoin, I now wanna exchange Bitcoin again for what's on the left. I need to get dense. So I'm gonna multiply that by one divided by what's on the left, which is dense. And then I want to end up with US dollar tether. So I want what's on the right, because now I have dense, I want what's on the right. And I'm gonna show this to you again in more detail, but then I'm gonna select the bid. And that's gonna give me, if I deduct one from that calculation, a 2.32% gain on my trade. Now this is at a high level, this is without going into the depth, but that's why I say like open the exchange windows, put the amount you actually wanna trade in and make sure it still spits out a profit for you before you go and actually execute a trade. But the way I would explain this is, let's say we have 100 USDT. If I have 100 USDT and I want what's on the left, I'm gonna multiply that 100 USDT by one divided by the ask. That means I now have 0.012 Bitcoin. Now I want that 0.012 Bitcoin and I'm just gonna make this bigger for you right now. I want that 0.012 Bitcoin and I want to exchange that for dense. So what I'm going to do is multiply that by one divided by the coin that's on the left because I want what's on the left. And that's going to give me a heck of a lot of Den coin. And then I want to exchange Den coin for USDT. So I'm going to take that and multiply it by the bid. That means I'm starting with $100 and I'm ending with $102. Now this does not take into account exchange fees. So whenever you're looking at a triangular arbitrage opportunity, generally you wanna see something that's like above 4%, 5% to really make it worth your time because there's risk in every type of trading, even arbitrage. I'm gonna talk about that more in this video. But you can see I've ended up with 2.32 more than I started with, hence the 2.32% because 102.3 divided by 100 or that change divided by 100 is 2.32%. But what about in reverse? What is this reverse calculation? Well, this is just saying, hey, if I started with Bitcoin and not USDT, in other words, I started wanting what was on the right, 
then I would trade this differently. The way I do this is I'd go, okay, I want what's on the right. So I'm going to take the bid. And so I've got Bitcoin. I've sold it for USDT because I wanted what was on the right. So I'm taking the bid. Now I've got USDT and I want what's on the left. I'm jumping all the way down to uh, exchange C over here, order book C, because I have USDT that I now need to exchange and I want dent. So I'm going to multiply that by one divided by the ask because I want the coin that's on the left. And now I want the coin that's on the right because I want to end up back with BTC, which is where I started. So I'm going to multiply that by the bid. And if I deduct one, that tells me that I have a 34 or nearly 35% loss. So I would not trade this in reverse. So that's the difference between forward and reverse. And most trackers don't give you this. Like what we're doing here, for example, is we are telling the tool to look at all of the coins forwards and backwards to make sure that we identify all possible opportunities. And it's really, really cool and really, really easy to do. Now, one of the things I want to mention here is that trading is never easy when it comes to arbitrage in crypto because you have to wonder, you know, do I hold coin on one exchange, etc.? Do I hold coin on multiple exchanges and only look at those exchanges? Do I build a bot to transact on only certain coins that I see the tool is presenting? So there's some risks that I want you to think about here. Number one is price. Looking at the price of the coin, have you got the correct price for the bid and the ask? Are you doing that correctly? Have you looked at what's on the left and what's on the right, whether you're doing forward or reverse? Think about the depth. Now on this tool, we do have a calculation to show you how depth is calculated and a whole bunch of playlists on the Crypto Wizards YouTube channel, which takes you through that. But you need to think about depth, which is why on the tool we have a pretend trade with $100 worth of coin. And we do that because we don't want you wasting your time looking at a whole bunch of opportunities that don't have enough depth to make it worth your while. I'd rather trade lower percentages where I can go deep and get that percentage gain on a lot of money than trade these really rubbish coins that sometimes take ages to transfer, etc. So that's why when working with Mark to develop this, you know, we actually decided on these sort of exchanges. Um, so again, thank you to Mark for the support in doing this tool. So the other thing is volatility. Prices move and they move very, very fast. So you need to be very clear on what exchanges you want to do this on. You need to become familiar with the exchange, familiar with the order books, etc. Familiar with what currencies you want to hold on what exchange and how you want to use a tool like this. It doesn't matter what tool you use, but use a tool to help you identify how you want to place those trades, whether manually or automatically. And either way, there are always risks. And then the next thing is speed. You need to be quick. So arbitrage is actually about speed and execution. It's about accuracy, speed and execution with the added risk in crypto that sometimes the same coin has the same symbol, but it's not actually the same coin. And I've had people who have been on the platform and found these coins thinking they're going to get hundreds of percents. But actually, no, it's just some new coin that's been added and it's got a different name. It's not even the same coin, which is why, again, for this specific tool, we're choosing exchanges where the coins are basically the same coins across these two exchanges, but you still need to check and make sure of that. So these are really the things you need to be aware of when you're looking at triangular arbitrage. So the way you can do this, for example, is let's just refresh this from scratch. I'm just going to refresh this page. So if you are using the Crypto Wizards tool, go down to the multi search tri scan. It has some high level searches for you already between exchanges. This will give you an idea of where and what opportunities are showing here, then just select those exchanges. So for example, Bittrex and Kraken, or you could just select one exchange. You could select up to four, it doesn't really matter. And then you hit scan. Once you hit scan, it goes through every single coin on all those exchanges in real time and looks at, okay, is there still an opportunity? And if so, what sort of percentage gain can I look at? And actually, as it happens right now, and there weren't any about an hour ago, but right now as I'm recording this, there seem to be quite a lot that are just popping up, which is super, super cool and awesome because you can look at a whole variety of combinations and find opportunities that most people can't see. So the other thing you can do is just go to the exchange search. So there's a different triangular arbitrage tool here. For example, I can select hit BTC and I can just scan that one exchange to look across just one exchange and see, are there any opportunities on just one exchange? So triangular arbitrage doesn't have to be multi-exchange. It can just be one. It's just you're more likely to get opportunities if you're willing to move about on different exchanges. Now, I hope that makes a lot of sense. If not, if you've got any questions, 
punch them in the comments and be sure to look at the triangular arbitrage playlist on the crypto wizards youtube channel take care and talk soon